Hello everybody, this is Chris Nelson at Go Engineer, and in today's video we will be going over how to use the WithMate, which is an advanced mate in SOLIDWORKS assemblies. And the WithMate is a mate where you will take multiple selections of the same part. So click mate, and we will be doing a WithMate between these two parts. It is one of the advanced mates, so click advanced mate and select it before you start clicking things. Because we have to choose two width and then one or two tab selections. And this is unlike standard mates, so make sure you make the selection before you start clicking your faces. So with the width selection, what we need to do is select two faces. So I will select this face and this face because it's going to center a plane between those two things, as you can see with that box right there. So right now, there is kind of an imaginary plane right between these two faces. Now for tab selection, we do the same thing. If we click this edge right here and this edge right here, it will align those two imaginary planes halfway between those selections. If we delete this face and choose another plane, it will rotate it because it takes those two faces and makes a 45 degree angle. I'll switch to wireframe view and you can see that there is an invisible plane that kind of goes between those points that align with it. And I will get rid of this again, get rid of both of these tab selections and we can do the same thing with cylindrical faces. So if I go back to the normal shade of view, I can choose this right here. And now it will take the temporary axis of that cylinder face, I will confirm it and it can rotate but it is aligned on that axis. Um, I will move the camera up a little bit and you can see it's still moving along the axis, but it is not locked. I will go to the top view and it doesn't have any left or right view, but it has forward and backward view. And that is the width mate. When you're using the width mate, make sure to click it before you make any selections. Remember that your width selection will always take two selections and your tab selection will take two selections if you're using the faces, but only a single if you are using that cylindrical face because it will select the temporary axis. I hope you found this SOLIDWORKS tutorial useful. If you would like to continue improving your skills in SOLIDWORKS, enroll in one of our courses at Go Engineer.